This belonged to my granddad. This is an old timer. They don't make them like this anymore. Creepers have these uh, specific type of, wheel, type of wheels that roll in any direction when you're under the car. This is what mechanics used before we have all these nice fancy lifts that we have today. Granddad even fixed this. I remember my Nana used to reupholster the little headpiece on there. <laughs> Just a different time. I'm pretty cool to have it though. Brand new serpentine belt. We don't want that breaking on us at the last moment. That is not a very fun thing to, to install. Pretty tight. Your car will have a little diagram on the front that'll tell you the orientation. Boy, without that, you'd be, uh, it'd be challenging to say the least. So this belt was this pretty bad shape. You can see it's cracking and uh, shows a lot of sign of wear on it. But I won't throw these away, I'll keep this. Put it back in the sleeve, throw it in the toolbox or in the back seat of your truck. That'll work as a really good spare. Never throw that stuff away. New Napa Gold oil filter and 7 quarts of 520. There's a fuel filter. I'm not going to change that because I just changed that on the last oil change. Two brand new rear shocks installed. I'm not going to uh, replace the rear brakes because I just did those um, just a year or so ago. Check the battery fluid and give a little I love this red stuff. Protective coating there. That keeps it from corroding. Got the oil filled, all the oils changed. Uh, we got the radiator fluid or the coolant all changed. Uh, the 90 weight and the differentials, transmission, new transmission filter. What else is there? Brake fluid. Not going to do the brake fluid today because it's uh, really clean, doesn't really need it, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But that should be about it. That is one happy truck. Happy owner, too. Let's go take it for a ride, see if that uh, got that brace brake problem worked out. All right. Heart Racer and I are going to take you guys for a ride here. Try these brakes out. Problem, problem is these rotors were so warped that when you hit, push on the brakes, the whole truck just would shake because they had I'd cooked them on a uh, hole in a load that was probably too heavy for the truck. So we'll come around here. There. Fall out. Get up here in this straight. Get some speed on. Come down this incline and come hard on the brakes. See if we got rid of that. I'm sure we did. I don't think it's in the back. Usually it's not the back that warps. It's typically the front. Oh, that's so nice. Just like a new truck. That really bothers me, those brakes that aren't 100%, especially when you get 200,000 miles on a truck. You know, I think it's kind of cool having an old truck that everything is in tip-top shape. You know, all your, keep your U-joints replaced and your brakes, you know, when you do your brakes, put new calipers on them, do everything nice, replace your hoses, replace your belts, have all that stuff, and you know what you got. You know, replace it before it breaks on you and it doesn't cause you a lot of frustration. You know, like, you might you could make the argument that, well, you know, why fix it if it's not broke? But, but what happens is it'll break, break when you're in a bad situation, when you're out of town, or you're, let's say you really need your truck. And, you know, the, the money, the little bit of money you save by stretching that stuff out and 
getting a few thousand more miles on it is, is quickly uh, taken away by the inconvenience and, and maybe even having to hire a tow truck to haul you, haul you a long ways and have a shop do something that you could have done if you were back at home. So that preventative stuff is uh, it's the way to go. It's definitely the way to go. Plus you have a spare. You know, that's why I always look at it. You have a spare. Oh, those brakes are nice. Nice, yeah. You know, on trucks, if you're going to be a homesteader, you're going to need to have a truck. No, no question about it. You just, there's just no way around it. And my theory on new cars, I bought one new car in my life, and it was the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes in my life. If you can't pay cash, if you don't have excess cash for a brand new car, then you got no business buying one. I know. I mean, I made the mistake too, and most of you all make the mix, make that same mistake. You're not entitled to a brand new car. You can drive a used car. You know, like I said, this truck I paid four thousand dollars for. I just put what I put six, seven hundred dollars into it plus tires. You know, so I put a couple thousand dollars into it, and um, you know, I got a really good solid truck. I know what I got. Got a new brake system, new fluids, all good. New belts, hoses, all that stuff is all good. Um, and it's four thousand dollars, and I and I paid for it. it. Doesn't cost me anything apart from just some gas and a little bit of upkeep. Um, but don't go buy a new truck, uh, forty, fifty thousand dollars. That's insane. Just because you can make the payments doesn't mean that it's a good idea. It doesn't mean it's a good idea at all. So if you're in a financial situation where you can go write a check for it and you don't miss that money, then by all means buy yourself a new truck. But if you're like me and most people, get yourself a used one and uh, take care of it yourself, and uh, you'll be money way, way ahead. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Not only do the brakes work really good, I was surprised how well the truck handled with the new tires and the new shocks. I'm just blown away. I used to slow down at these steep corners and go around them and feel like the truck is leaning going to tip over. All of that has changed. I looked my back and looked at those shocks. They're motorcraft. So what that tells me is I'll bet those shocks were the ones that came with it when it was stock. Yeah, just incredible the difference it made. So. The old truck is growing good and nice to get all that stuff dan done, especially right before fire season. It just gives you really good peace of mind. Loaded up the fire skid in it uh, yesterday, went for a test drive and everything's just tip top. So we're all ready. Nice to be prepared. So I have a great video for you guys here. Uh, man, there was a guy, a blacksmith in Australia that forged for me one of my favorite tools the hand forged axe rune and this was making a really great special handle for it i think you'll enjoy it if you haven't seen it already so that's it no well, i don't know if i have anything else to share with you that's it we'll see you guys on the next video oh i know what it was don't forget to subscribe uh, if you haven't already to follow us along and if you wouldn't take a moment to click the thumbs up i would appreciate it that's how you can show your uh, support for the channel so take a minute and do that and we'll see you guys in the next one.